Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show we have part two of our David Lama interview, this time focusing on high altitude mountaineering and attempting to climb the southeast ridge of Annapurna 3. So I'm not here for the quiff mainly, but um, I actually came here for the film festival um, to present a film called Annapurna 3, Unclimbed. And uh, it's about my one of my last expeditions to Annapurna 3, obviously, um, in Nepal. Um, we tried the unclimbed southeast ridge of it and unfortunately didn't make it to the top, but we we're planning to go back there this fall. I guess the first time I'd heard about Annapurna 3 and, and its southeast ridge was um, when I read an article of Conrad Anker in, in Alpinist magazine. And um, from that moment on, um, like Alpinist magazine called it one of the last great problems in alpinism, um, which is quite a headline actually. And uh, from that moment on, that line was just sort of in my head and um, I'd focused on climbing in Patagonia and I'd focused on climbing in Pakistan the last couple of years and um, the last two years I, I was really driven to Nepal. Um, part of it definitely because my dad is from there but uh, definitely also the mountains drew me there. The approach used to be done by foot, but nowadays it's just impossible because the porters refuse to go since their like porters died on the approach, and uh, there were huge landslides going down, uncovering like uh, blank. I think it's called slate rocks. Slate is some type of rock, right? Um, so nowadays the porters totally refuse to go up there, so there's no way you can reach base camp if you're not traveling up by helicopter. So that's what basically we did and uh, from then on we tried to acclimatize pretty well because the climb it takes you up to 7500 meters so it's quite a high mountain and uh, it has some really technical climbing on it so you want to be prepared for the for the high altitude and then the climb itself um, the first 1000 meters or 1200 meters aren't that technical maybe just a few pitches um, that we actually belayed um, but they're quite exposed to um, avalanche danger there's two big serocs on top um, and it's also southeast facing so it warms up super fast and you have to climb fast in order to make it to a shoulder where you can bivy and from there the climbing gets super technical like it's it's been the most technical climbing that I've done at high altitude I remember climbing in I don't know like sixth grade um, off with chimney at 6200 meters without having any big gear of course um, and there's another pitch I have in mind that's it's definitely A2 climbing and uh, the weather was just terrible so it was definitely an, an epic um, experience climbing up there. The main reason we didn't make it to the summit was definitely the weather. We had like five days of non-consecutive good weather so um, it was like terrible weather. Every day there was snowfall, um, every day there was a lot of spin drift on, on, on the route while we were climbing and uh, it's just it just makes you tired and want to give up at a certain point and it's, it's just gnarly. <laughs> I 
I definitely take no cameraman with me. It's uh, when I'm when I'm up there on a big mountain and I'm climbing and I'm there for the climbing. Um, but of course, I I try to document my climbs and uh, I guess with the time and with the will to to document your climbs, it also. Um, makes you kind of realize how you when to turn on the camera and how to get the better footage. I'm actually planning to go back to Annapurna 3 in fall this year, so I'm looking forward to that. Thanks, David. If you missed part one of that interview, make sure you check out Tuesday's show. Thanks for watching. See you soon.